This is definitely the most futuristic looking headset I have ever seen. It has an impressive 170 degrees diagonal FOV, compared to which Quest FOV seems like a potato. What an absolute game changer. This difference is impossible to describe in words. You just have to see it. I have a really exciting headset for you today that blew my mind. Honestly, I've been playing with Quest 2 for so long that I'm quite used to the quality of the image, the FOV, even when when playing PC VR games with it. So when I tried this incredible Pimax 8KX for the first time, my mind was blown away. And in this video, I will share my very first impressions from this headset. 8KX is headset for VR enthusiasts, meaning that setting it up and getting the best results out of its performance is not as straightforward as, for example, Quest 2. This headset is for a completely different niche of VR gamers. And that was the reason why my initial childish excitement with this huge FOV gradually turned into puzzlement when I ran into certain issues. But more about it later in this video. Today, we're taking the first look at this Pimax. How Pimax 8KX runs out of the box and with a minimum required setup. More complicated settings and options for advanced users will be covered in the next video. I want to thank the Pimax team for sending me this loaner unit. This review is largely overdue. Unfortunately, some family and personal circumstances considerably delayed the production of this review. But since now I'm fully back, more videos dedicated to Pimax will be coming soon. Let's do a quick review of the specs and the physical properties of this headset. Pimax 8KX, and it's in this name, has 2 times 4K resolution, 3840 by 2160 native resolution per eye. It uses Fresnel lenses and supports refresh rates of 75, 90, and 114 hertz. It's a pretty large headset as it weighs 2.2 pounds, which is almost 1 kilogram. And look at these ginormous lenses. They are insanely big, especially if you replace them side by side with Quest. I couldn't believe it and what a difference it makes. The nice thing is that this headset includes a smooth IPD adjustment between 55 and 75 millimeters, which you adjust by rotating this wheel. It also has the built-in and adjustable DMS speakers and the audio cable on the top. There's also a very impressively thick top strap and also let's take a look at the head strap itself. For the headset of its size and weight, this head strap kind of feels a little wobbly. It just wobbles from side to side and feels quite plasticky. I would expect a little bit sturdier construction for the headset of these dimensions. Even though it's too big to my taste, I gotta admit it looks so dang cool. I also like the navy blue color and overall this 8KX headset has a very premium feel in everything except for this wobbly strap. It also comes with the cable, a pretty long one too, so it should give you enough mobility. Here is the display cable and two USB cables. So let's go ahead and connect them. Very important note, to make Pimax 8KX work on your PC, you need to have an NVIDIA GPU. If you have an AMD GPU, you're out of luck because Pimax simply doesn't work with those, which I agree is a considerable limitation, but that's just the way it is. I will be testing it on my PC with an NVIDIA 3080, but it also should work with 3070 if you play around with the settings right. This headset is quite big and heavy and it's a very big change for someone that's been using Quest 2 as her daily driver and who recently tested literally the smallest headset imaginable, Arapara 5K. Trying on a monster like Pimax 8KX feels very different. When reviewing straps, I always emphasize that the back strap needs to be located on the straight line from the headset to the back of your head. However, the construction of a Pimax 8KX strap is different to accommodate the weight of this headset. You need to loosen the top strap and move the back all the way down past the little resistance so that when you wear it, the back strap is located almost all the way down to your neck. It feels weird, but this is the official recommendation from Pimax for playing with maximum comfort. But I've got to say, even with this recommendation, the headset is just so heavy that fast head movements do not make me feel very comfortable because you can feel the headset moving on your face. 
so this is not a headset for fitness but i think that you already knew about that so our 8kx is plugged in and powered on and next we need to install a special software from the pimax website called pi tool here you will go through the initial setup pimax uses steam vr tracking so if you have steam vr base stations and index controllers or even htc vive controllers you're all set pi tool is the place where all the pimax magic happens there are lots of settings that you can play around with but please do not touch anything unless you know exactly what you're doing things break very easily here don't just go around clicking buttons and experimenting with settings unless you know how to bring them back more on that later now let's jump inside the headset the cool thing is that you can access the pi tool dashboard and almost all the settings from within your headset the setting that you can play around with safely is the refresh rate if you have gpu 3080 or higher 90 hertz should work fine but feel free to adjust it according to the performance of your pc on the other hand you need to be very careful when changing the fov because the largest and the most impressive fov does not work with all games and that caused me much headache in the past because at some point i actually believe that i broke my pimax what happened was when i was trying to load lone echo 2 with the largest fov the game crashed and because i had changed it long time ago it took me a very long time to figure out that it was fov that caused those crashes and that leads me to the most important thing that i've learned about pimax pimax 8kx headset is not one size fits all like quest to make the most advantage out of this headset you need to set specific settings for each individual game by creating gaming profiles these profiles then get automatically applied to your headset to each game when you're running it on one hand this is extremely smart but on the other hand you need to figure out all the best settings that would provide the highest quality and you can imagine how much more work it is compared to simply putting on a vr headset and firing up a game and this is where things get more complicated the deeper you go into the settings the higher is the risk that something will go wrong and i caused some severe crashes when testing pimax 8kx that made me feel like the system is still quite fragile and is very easy to break should you do something wrong 8kx can be quite an intimidating headset especially for those who are not very technically advanced pimax 8kx is not for the weak so i've mentioned lone echo and i did manage to play it on my pimax with a slightly lower fov lone echo is in my oculus library and not my steam vr library and pimax has a very easy way to play games from both libraries without any additional software required pretty much all your gaming library is available to you easily and i've got to say playing load echo is so mesmerizing it was a completely new experience for me and for the first time i realized that this whole time when playing with quest 2 it was like playing through a tunnel and i've only realized it once it was gone with pimax and i truly felt like i was in that open space floating in the galaxy it is the best way to play this game and i would have a very hard time going back to quest now the only reason i would go back to quest to play pc vr games is for wireless gaming and for just a lighter headset other than that both from the perspective of the fov and the rendering quality pimax is astonishing the image is not quite as clear as i saw in the arpara 5k oled display but pimax does a much better job at suppressing distortions playing with pimax is visually a lot more comfortable and pleasant experience than with our par when the highest fov is enabled you can see some distortions at the edges just because the display is so ridiculously large and this is something that i believe is perceived differently by different players in my case those edges distortions didn't bother me at all i noticed them but the beauty of the large fov outweighed the discomfort of slight distortions especially because i could only see them at the edges and just like with foveated rendering you don't focus on the edges you focus on the center and the central picture looks fantastic i absolutely love the way everything looks bigger in pimax 8kx however just as expected with the default settings different games run and look a little bit differently yes the image is clearer than the quest 2 but the colors felt a little bit faded out to me there are some color saturation and brightness settings in the pi tool that you can change but we don't touch them for now in some games i also noticed some ghosting there is a setting called smart smoothing that might help with that in certain cases but again be very careful changing the settings and test your game after every change aside from the nice quality and big fov as you can see pimax 8kx is not the best headset for content creators because the gameplay streamed on the pc is not centered it is recorded from one of the lenses that looks significantly off center and i think it goes without saying that creating quality content such as gameplays can be quite 
quite problematic, which is a shame. I would love to create more videos testing PC VR games on Pimax, but I'm afraid that many of you will have some things to say if I release a gameplay review video that looks like this. Or not, let me know if you'd be okay with that, because I'd love to test some more games with this headset. One more important thing related to comfort is actually the lens positioning. Remember I've mentioned that Pimax 8KX has IPD adjustment? However, the gear here adjusts the lens positioning and not the display itself. The system is somewhat different from most other headsets where the actual display is moving, and I don't know how to describe it better, but when playing with Pimax, I have a feeling like I have a slightly yellowish spot right in the middle where the lens is overlapping. Uh, something just creates this effect for me. My friend Sebastian from MRTV recommended I play around with the IPD offset settings, and he claims that it makes a huge difference, so I will make sure to do that for my next video. So I know that there are some users who would welcome an opportunity to tune their experiences for every game and get the most out of this gaming experience with Pimax. But once again, the fact that you need to dive into Pi Tool and experiment with the settings means that it requires more work from users, and I understand that many of you may not be ready to invest that much time and energy. And now let's jump a bit ahead. Pimax 12K is coming. It has been confirmed and it has been revealed by Kevin Henderson. Among lots of fantastic things, it'll have an automatic settings adjustment. Users will not need to torture themselves with a million settings and options as they will all be detected and applied to the games automatically. Now that's a good news, and I can't wait to test that headset when it's released, and for now I will keep enjoying my 8KX and diving deeper into the settings. In the next video I will show you my progress and share some of the settings to help you set your IPD offset and talk in more detail about some other intimidating settings. And until then, check out my review of the tiny Arpara 5K OLED, the direct opposite of Pimax 8KX in size. It's a very interesting little device. Thanks for watching and see you soon!